Good morning, my beautiful boys and girls of the United Methodist Church at Demarest. This is John Sa again, and I am so happy to be here to be talking to you. And I look forward to the day so much that I can see your faces in person to give you big holy hugs and to see those beautiful faces and the beautiful smiles. Today, we are going to talk about someone very important in the Bible. His name is Nehemiah. That's right. And Pastor Myung has been speaking about Nehemiah. And he'll be speaking about Nehemiah for the rest of this month as well. So I thought it would be great if we took a little time to find out a little bit about who Nehemiah was. But before we do so, let us close our eyes and pray. Dear Father God, we thank you for this time that you've given us. We ask for your spirit to lead us this morning as we talk about Nehemiah and the wonderful things that he did and he inspired for his people. Father God, would your spirit lead us this morning and bless this conversation. All these things in the name of your precious son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. So let's talk about Nehemiah. Do you know what the name Nehemiah means? Take a little guess. Or you know in Hebrew, Nehemiah means the Lord's comfort. That's right, the Lord's comfort. Nehemiah answered God's calls to bring comfort to his fellow Israelites because his Israelites were in a terrible situation at that time. They just returned from captivity by the Babylonians and when they got back to Jerusalem where they used to live, Everything was destroyed, their homes, their temples, and the walls that surrounded them to protect them from the enemies were totally, totally destroyed. And when Nehemiah heard this news, he cried, he wept, and he answered God's call to bring comfort to his fellow Israelites by going back to Jerusalem where all the walls were destroyed to help the Israelites rebuild the wall and to give him a sense of comfort. That's right, Nehemiah, the Lord's comfort. He is the ultimate comforter. Amen. You know, one of the most interesting things I found out about Nehemiah was that Nehemiah was a cupbearer to the king. That's right. You might be wondering, well, what is a cupbearer to the king? Well, I was just as curious myself, and I did a little research. And I found out that back in those old days when there were kings and queens, a special position was held by a person who personally served the food and the drink to the king. And there's a reason for that. Do you know why? Because there were many, many evil people at that time who wanted to poison the king and to kill him or to assassinate him because they didn't like the king. So the cupbearer had a very important position to make sure that food or the drink that was being given to the king was not poisoned. Now, there's a little warning that goes with this because one, the cupbearer also had to taste the food and drink the drink first to make sure it wasn't poisonous. So very dangerous. But also it was a very trusted position because no one else could touch the food or the drink except for the cupbearer, which meant the king really had to trust you. So as a cupbearer to the king, we know that Nehemiah was a very trusted and respected person at that time. Do you know that Nehemiah is probably one of the most courageous persons in the Bible? That's right. You know, when Nehemiah first heard the news that the people of Israel were suffering because the walls of Jerusalem had been destroyed and the city and the temples had been destroyed, Nehemiah was so sad because Nehemiah was not in Jerusalem, but he was in the capital city of Persia, Susa, which is 900 miles away. So when Nehemiah heard this terrible news, he was so sad. And then the king, Artaxerxes of Persia, when he saw Nehemiah so sad, he asked Nehemiah, he says, Nehemiah, why are you so sad? And Nehemiah said, King, this is what's going on with my people in Jerusalem, and I don't know what to do. I think I need to go there to help my people rebuild the wall. So the king gave him permission to do so. But Nehemiah was courageous. He didn't stop there with the permission only. He said, well, King, while you're at it, since it's such a long journey going down from Susa to Jerusalem, like 900 miles, it'll take three months. Can you write me a letter to keep me safe from all the bad people during this journey? And the king said, it's done. And then Nehemiah said, well, King, while you're at it, can I also ask to use all the timber that's in your forest to help rebuild the walls of uh, Jerusalem and the city so that it'll be as great as ever? And the king said, it's done. You have my permission to use all the timber. And here's a letter for you. I'm writing for you so no one could touch you and you'll be safe. 
and Nehemiah was so blessed and so thankful. So we know that Nehemiah, through his courage, received so many blessings. That's right. You know, one of the things I loved the most about Nehemiah was that Nehemiah was a prayer warrior. That's right. He prayed and he prayed and prayed. He even fasted when he prayed. He prayed in the morning. He prayed in the midday. He prayed at night. Even when he was about to ask King Artaxerxes for all those favors, he prayed. That's right. And when he went down into Jerusalem, do you know that what took 70 years to destroy and been left destroyed for 70 years, the temples of Jerusalem and the city? Nehemiah, through prayer, built it in 52 days. That's right. Through prayer, all his enemies were there surrounding the city of Jerusalem, mocking him, taunting him, threatening him. But through it all, and through prayer, Nehemiah had his people build the walls and the city of Jerusalem in 52 days. Yes, sir. Nehemiah was a prayer warrior, and God blessed him by answering all of Nehemiah's prayers. Amen to Nehemiah. So today we learned some fascinating things about Nehemiah. First, we learned that Nehemiah was a cupbearer to the king, which meant he had to be brave and well trusted. And we learned that Nehemiah's name stands for the Lord's comfort. That Nehemiah brought comfort to his people by helping them rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And we know that Nehemiah was courageous because he boldly asked the king for all these favors, and the king granted it to Nehemiah. And finally, and most importantly for me, Nehemiah was a prayer warrior. He prayed about everything, and he was allowed to build the walls of Jerusalem in 52 days. Amen. Have a great day.